aggression, <laughs> terrorism, <laughs> oppression. All words many see as synonymous with Iran in Western film and media. The good versus evil depictions, leaving Iranian Americans feeling alienated. The way it's portrayed, the chaos, it's this, it's always the headlines. And at some point, it just makes you not interested in understanding your own identity. Lili Naz Hakimi grew up in Iran and moved to the U.S. with her family at 12, but felt the richness of her culture was missing from what she saw on screens big and small. The poetry, the food, the history, everything, every part of it is so beautiful. It's, it's not the country you should fear and it's not the people that you should resent for the situation and with their governments. That government, a product of the 1979 Iranian revolution, when Iran's U.S.-backed Shah was toppled. It was the start of a decades-long geopolitical conflict, putting the country's leadership at odds. The hostages in Iran spent their 10th day in captivity today. And some Iranian Americans with no control over the revolution or the hostage crisis, becoming the target of American rage. Our neighbors that were our friends end up like breaking our windows and beating us up. And popular movies released over time didn't help either. For better or worse, Hollywood tends to follow our political kind of position. Um, so when we see films like Not Without My Daughter, it shouldn't really be surprising. Now, the space in American media opening up for a new narrative. Sparked by a movement that unveiled the strength, the depth, and the richness of the Iranian people to the rest of the world. 22-year-old Masa Amini detained by Iranian morality police for allegedly not following a dress code. Dying in their custody at the hospital a few days later. Prompting women to take to the streets. Their bravery witnessed by millions and inspiring a new wave of expression. There has been a little bit of an awakening that it's more than just our governments. Uh, it's what people on the ground are doing. Playwright Sana Tusi winning a Pulitzer Prize for her recent play English, exploring the identities of four Iranians preparing for a language exam. Buzz also growing around a newly released movie. Amazing and congratulations. Winning an audience award at Sundance. It's making history for uniquely capturing the Iranian immigrant experience here in the U.S. Holy f I'm a lesbian. I can't be pregnant. The Persian Version, a semi-autobiographical comedy drama made by trailblazing filmmaker Maryam Keshavarz with a majority Iranian cast. This is the film I always wanted to see growing up. I never saw any images of anything that even vaguely represented me on the screen. I love that you said that it needed to be a comedy because I feel like so often, right, the plight of an Iranian-American, me being one um, myself, is either shown in Not Without My Daughter or Argo, right, or, um, and, and we're kind of characterized in a certain way. I mean, that's, that's kind of was my reason of wanting to do it. I thought if I have to do something about Iranian Americans, to be truthful, it has to have great food, it has to have dancing, yeah. it has to have drama, a few tears, and a lot of joy. And a new generation of filmmakers also stepping up. All of a sudden we saw all these exhibits or these plays or films. It inspired us to really become a part of representing our people. <laughs> Hakimi wrote, directed, and starred in the film for her, based on her own experience, watching the protests in Iran from afar. Making this film is kind of the decision not to go back to Iran um, until it is free, but this is the moment, and this is the moment to really step up and stand with our people, because there's no other way to do it. A stand, using art to change the way her community is seen, while at the same time, keeping her from the country that she loves. Yasmin Vesugian, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.